Welcome back guys. Uh, this week we're going to talk about uh, replacing the um, equipment uh, for the rear brakes. So I'm actually going to be replacing the wheel cylinder um, and the brake uh, pad material. So uh, follow along as we uh, go through that. First thing I've done is uh, jack up the back of the uh, the bus here and uh, remove the tire and I sprayed some uh, PB blaster liquid wrench just penetrating oil around this surface right here that tends to get uh, stuck on right there and I also sprayed a little bit around each lug so the first thing we're gonna do is actually uh, try and get the drum off um, Usually these are super seized on here, um, and even sometimes they come with locating uh, screws, um, but mine didn't. But you'd want to remove that first. So we're going to have to take the, uh, the sledge and uh, bang on this a little bit. There we go. Now that the drum is off, we're gonna remove the brake pads themselves. Um, so uh, what you would normally do is uh, use the adjusting um, stars from the backside before you take that off. But um, in my case, these were totally frozen. So I'm gonna have to rebuild these and just really uh, put some good anti-seize on them. So I'm just gonna pry the brake material out. And then there is the, the uh, parking brake cable, which uh, attaches to an arm on, this is the passenger's side, um, and it's in the back here, and it's always in the back on the driver's side, it'll be in the back as well. But we need to um, release it from this arm. So here is the parking brake uh, cable. It has a little notch in it, if you can see that. And it connects to this arm right here. So you just have to try and get the angle right to release that. Then uh, once everything is kind of released from the um, adjusting uh, nuts down here and the um, wheel cylinder, so the tabs, um, there's a bar that goes across on these later buses and we just kind of need to free that up and kind of pull and tug to get to release this bar. Now that we have the brake shoes out, um, we can kind of see things a little more clearly. This is the parking brake lever and the parking cable actually connects to this portion right here and when it pulls out, like pulling the brake in, it engages this arm and this arm sits right there and interfaces with this shoe and so when you pull it out it actually forces this brake shoe out as well so that's the parking brake mechanism so what we're going to do now is just replace all the hardware the two springs and the brake shoes now it's going to be hard to document this, but um, this guy is leaking, this wheel cylinder, so I'm going to uh, basically undo the bolt on the back that holds it in place. I'm not going to do it all the way, 
but uh, just you know pretty loose and then I'm gonna crack the brake line uh, with the line wrench nothing is ever easy when you're working with old equipment I managed to get the wheel cylinder out um, however um, the connector was pretty frozen in there so I had to unscrew the connect or the wheel cylinder from the connector itself but at the very end it was swaying a lot and the brake line uh, broke off right at the uh, connector point so we have this bubble flare that we need to put onto uh, this old brake line so what I'm gonna do is uh, take another connector that I have this one's pretty beat up slide it on there cut a little bit of this connect this side off and just flush it up there and then using a double flare tool I'm just going to mimic the bubble flare taking the flat side of the double flaring tool I'm going to clamp down and leave about a quarter inch hanging over then we'll slide the um, adapter in and then using the little swivel adapter on this tool we're going to try and get it lined up as square as possible and press down All right, so we have a um, bubble flare here and a new wheel cylinder. So I'm just gonna pop that out and get it positioned. The new wheel cylinder is in and the um, bleeder is loose right now. The bolt is secure and the brake line is in. So now what we're gonna do is uh, try and install the brake shoes. Here are the brake shoes and new hardware, new springs and so forth. Um, we have the shoe with the parking brake lever on the back side to engage and the um, crossbar and the top spring. The first thing I'm going to do is actually get these springs installed and we're going to take our crossbar, the long notch going at the parking brake lever and the hump see it's kind of got a shape to it the hump side is uh, facing upward and it slides on the parking brake lever and I'm gonna have to kind of push it a little bit and fiddle with it to get it to slide on there we go and so now it should spring a little bit and allow us to fit it onto the um, the actual um, backing plate and hub. Before we uh, install the brake shoes I got these adjusters the star adjusters cleaned up on the wire wheel and I'm gonna actually coat them with just some anises and uh, that usually uh, keeps them really really adjustable uh, without locking up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that to these parts as well as the seats alright we have the adjusting uh, star assembled and uh, coated liberally with uh, anises so I'm gonna go ahead and install these and then install the brake shoes take the uh, parking brake lever, uh, the actual cable, and get it onto the lever here. Okay, that engages nicely. Now we just have to seat 
the brake shoes, um, the connection points into the um, the wheel cylinder, and then we'll sink them into the adjustment screws. Okay, so the tops are somewhat seated once we uh, maneuver the bottoms into their uh, spots. Then we'll put the spring in. To finish up, all we have to do is install our drum and uh, making sure to install it in the right orientation. Remember these uh, backing screws here. So. fits pretty snugly on there and we just um, want to bleed the brakes and um, and adjust them thanks for following along on the rebuild of the rear drum brakes the wheel cylinder and brake shoe material uh, replacement um, next up I think I'm gonna take a look at the uh, steering components um, on uh, I've been driving it around so on uh, on highway and so forth there's a lot of correction and a lot of wander so I think I'm gonna take a look at that next anyway thanks for following along